And now the goat area. It's pretty empty. Friends, and welcome back to the Heavenly Homestead. Today it's time to say goodbye to a couple of the remaining boys that I still have in the barn. And I feel like they're watching me like with this puppy eyes right now. And like they know what's gonna happen, but I'm sure they don't. Today, um, the black and white boy, which is the bigger boy from Mocha, the one that was left, and Annabelle's little boy, T, they're both leaving. Um, recently, they, they were supposed to go to this other place, and, and in the end, it didn't. I mean, it just didn't work out. So I, yesterday, posted on Facebook about this two half-brothers that I still have available and soon enough there were a couple of people interested in them and the first one that contacted me is coming today. Now these two little babies are gonna go live by the beach which is going to be kind of a nice thing. They are going as pets, both of them. They've been banded and they already lost their testicles so that's, that's kind of done. So today I just wanted to quickly show you a few of the things I like to do when they're being picked up. In the beginning, I wouldn't show people how to do certain things like I wouldn't show the selenium and I wouldn't show how to trim their hooves and stuff. But since they're coming and picking up babies, it's very easy to take a couple of minutes, have them hold them, hold the babies for you while you're trimming their hooves and that way you help them be a little bit more confident at the time that they have to do it. There's all kind of things that you will find if you Google selenium. So I also like to show them the one that I get. I typically tell them how much it is, how much to give them, and just point them to the right direction because it's just one of those things that I feel like you learn more from watching somebody else do it and then just have to Google it or watch videos or learn more about it. So. The other thing I like to show people when they come pick them up, and this is something that I started doing recently, is showing them how you can use this little, what are they called, like harness, they're for dogs. You can buy them a Dollar Tree. That's how they go, the two front parts is where their legs go. And you can buy it for $1 and you can get a leash like this. So if you want to take them on a walk, my goats are used to them, so I always, keep it in my basket of things that I want to show people or things that we uh, want to get done before they go. Um, another thing that I always mention to them is some of the poisonous plants that are very common in our area and that is a type of fern. I'm gonna put the name on the screen so you know and rhododendron. Those are the more um, common ones that you'll find in every yard and uh, azaleas. Azaleas are pretty poisonous. Um, some cherry trees and they have two cherry trees so it's just a few things to keep in mind and she was so also thankful for you know knowing about it so And the other thing that I show them is the minerals. And I explained that about this one, the good thing is the ammonium chloride. Because this is basically what's gonna help them if they eat something like grain or, you know, other things. Another thing I do before they go is I brush them. I have this little comb that it has the fine um, tooth in one side and they have a th you okay I think I always like to start in their hands 
because this is the part that they get the most hay and they don't mind it because it's itchy so it's like I'm scratching them in the beginning it looks like a mess but then as you brush them it's gonna start to come off and he's gonna have beautiful shinier hair and he's gonna be super soft to the touch and it, that just adds something for when their new owners come and you can see how it starts to collect like the little fussies so when their new owners come they're kind of soft and they're not full of hay like most people take them inside their cars either in a plastic container or some people just put them in the back seat which I don't recommend because they pee and poop but some people just do that if they're like super local I know it's gonna be your turn you're gonna go home to a new home okay baby this that. process probably will take me about 10 minutes you can start to see like the fuzzies with the hay coming off other than the stuff that is coming right out of his hair some little baby goats don't like this and they walk away so when they don't want to be brushed I put them in the milking stand and I brush them there so they're nice and soft when they're picked up now this boy is not going anywhere he's just being my model right now because he's the one that is by me right this second the only problem I have with this is that they all want to be brushed look at Mocha she's like why are you brushing my boys and not brushing me the mom I have the door closed because I just cleaned their barn and it was pretty nasty I knew it was gonna be pretty nasty because I don't think I've removed every single layer <coughs> since um, Annabelle had her baby so that was June and I continue to add more and more straw on top and yeah it was basically just ugh, a lot I think I took about 15 wheelbarrows of it now I <laughs> remove the cobwebs and I clean their mineral feeders I put new straw it's actually actually it's hay I don't remember what kind of hay it is but it's cheaper than the straw however I can't put it in the garden because it sprouts grass very easily I haven't been able to find any kind of straw not even the compressed one near me lately so it's been a challenge to continue to do the deep bed method without um, straw so I decided to get that uh, the goats actually are eating the hay I'm sure as soon as they start pooping on it um, they're just not going to but it is such a beautiful day it is sunny it's the second day in a row that's sunny and I just did a couple of things that I'm gonna show you too like I put this I found this what it's called bench I guess in a yard sale when I went to um, Utah yeah I came from Utah and so I just I just love the way that it looks and I know that the babies are gonna end up taking naps here but I just thought that'd be perfect to have some seating area and um, we just have to clean it every time we want to sit on it And now the goat area, it's pretty empty. Now they left, we did the selenium, we did the cloves, kind of told them a little bit about maintenance. And as always, we like to keep in touch. I didn't want to film while they were there. He's eating the hay on the floor, I swear. Um, every time any of the goats leave, it's kind of a sad day for me and it does take me a good week to get over it. I know that's part of the process as breeders, that's the way that it should be. Um, you should just breed, get the milk, um, keep some girls and then the boys all have to go, or at least in our case they all have to go. 
and um, it's just part of the process but that doesn't mean that it's easy I was trimming little T's nails Annabelle's little boy and he was just being so sweet and giving me kisses and uh, it's just that's who I am I guess right so everyone's eating everyone's happy I'm so happy where they're going uh, this is a uh, retired couple that just built a new home in two acres by the beach. Um, I, I just really think that they're gonna be the perfect parents for those two little boys. She just was so excited about everything and uh, she just couldn't wait to hold them and pet them and have them at her own place. Um, Thanks for watching guys. I hope that I was able to share with you this experience and some of the things that are really important when you are saying goodbye to your baby goats. Talk to you guys next time.